Spiral sliced ham is a classic holiday dinner, and today Elle's going to show us the best way to prepare it. Yeah, there are two common challenges, though, in making spiral sliced ham. The first is, how do you keep the meat moist without drying the exterior? Mm -hmm. And the other is that the caramel glaze hardly ever extends beyond the surface of the meat. That's the worst part, because I love that glaze. That's right. Well, we're going to do it today, and we're going to do it right. So we have a seven-pound ham. It's bone-in, it's spiral sliced, as you can see. And we prefer the shank for this recipe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cook it in an oven bag. In the test kitchen, we learned that cooking it low and slow is the way to go. So we're gonna use the oven bag, a wire rack, mm -hmm. a roomed baking sheet lined with foil. All right. Right, so this rack is gonna allow for the air to circulate all the way around, even cooking, you know the deal. So I'm gonna put this cut side down in the bag. The great thing about the bag is that it's gonna trap in moisture, it's gonna create a humid environment that is actually better for cooking for this ham. And to monitor our low and slow cooking, I'm gonna insert a probe thermometer in the back cut side all the way down to the center. There we go. Oh, you're going all the way to the middle of the roast. Yes, because we need to make sure that it does not go beyond 110 degrees. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna seal the bag. Can you tie that up? Oh yeah. Looks like a little Easter basket. This is gonna be your Easter <laughs> Sunday <laughs> gift. <laughs> I would love that actually. So this is gonna go in the oven that's set at 250 degrees. Mm -hmm. The rack is in the lower middle position. We're just gonna go in there and let it cook until it reaches 110 degrees. Okay. Three and a half to four and a half hours. Okay, so it takes a while. Yeah, it takes a while. All right, we're just gonna put this up top here. And we're all set. We've tasted a number of hams here over the years in America's Test Kitchen, and while none of them were downright terrible, some were definitely better than others. So when you're shopping, you want to look out for two things. Now first, spiral cut hams are categorized by the amount of water that's added during processing. And the more water, the worse they are. So look for hams with labels that just say ham or ham with natural juices. Second, you wanna buy a bone-in ham rather than a boneless ham because the boneless ones tend to have a spongy texture. Okay, so while we were figuring out how to make the ham the best it could be, we decided that every bite, inside and out, could benefit from this glaze, mm -hmm. right? Very easy to make. I'm gonna start with a half a cup of water, one and a quarter cup sugar, and three tablespoons of light corn syrup. And I'm going to put this on medium high heat for about six to seven minutes. No stirring, no touching, no mm -hmm. nothing. Okay. Okay, it's been about seven minutes. I'm gonna turn this down low. It's turning straw color, it's looking mm -hmm, beautiful. Right around the edge. Yeah, nice and amber. Let me give it a couple of swirls, kind of even that out. There we go. That looks beautiful. Now I'm just gonna temp it. We want it to be 360 to 370 degrees. We got it. Okay, so we're gonna take this off of the heat. Mm -hmm. We need to add the vinegar, but it needs to go in the microwave for about 90 seconds until it's a little steamy. Okay, so we've done a couple of interesting things here. We took the caramel to a brown color to speed up the caramelization of the ham because it's all already cooked. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna add vinegar that's been in the microwave for 90 seconds, a little steamy. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna add it a little bit at a time. And the reason we warmed it was so that the sugar doesn't seize. That's right. So I'm gonna add a little and whisk. What kind of vinegar was this? Cider? Apple cider vinegar. Nice. Mm -hmm. And now that the bubbling has subsided, right, we can add a quarter teaspoon of five spice mm. and a half teaspoon of pepper. It's all mixed. I'm gonna put this back on medium high heat. We need it to reduce to about one and a third cup and that's only gonna take five to seven minutes. Okay. I'm gonna reserve a third cup of this glaze. Look, 110 degrees. On the nose. We nailed it. Four and a half hours, mm -hmm. this ham is ready. All right, here, let me grab this for you. And while we're yeah. here, will you put the oven at 450 degrees for me? You bet. Thank you. Okay, so the oven bag has done its job. Mm -hmm. It's collected juice for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. It's created a human environment for cooking. It's amazing. We're gonna let it sit in the bag though while we let the oven reach 450 degrees. All right, so the oven's at 450 degrees. Good. Let's keep it moving. Let's get this ham out of the bag. All right. Oh. So I'm just gonna be careful to get this ham out. We don't wanna lose any of this liquid. We need it. That's the hardest part of the whole recipe right there. Yeah, it is. Okay, cut the tip off here. Make life a little easy for myself. Very clever. Okay, so I'm gonna save a quarter cup of this liquid gold 
for our glazing. There you go. Perfect. Yep. And we don't need the rest of it. We're gonna put the ham back in the oven for the glazing process, but what we don't need anymore is this cooling rack. Okay. And we're gonna do another transfer, ham back <laughs> to pan, right onto the foil. I'm gonna take our third cup of reserved glaze and glaze the ham. Just brush it. Oh my gosh. This is the part that makes me so very happy. <laughs> Look at the shine. Yeah, that's a good shine. This is looking fantastic. It really is. Yeah. It's gonna go in the oven for about five to seven minutes. And once it starts bubbling, mm -hmm. we'll know it's ready. Okay. All right. So a hot oven, not that much time. Right. All right, it's been five minutes. Let's get this ham out. Oh, Ooh. it's beautiful. Oh, that looks amazing. Now that, L is a looker. Yeah, it is. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's make some glaze. Okay. So I'm gonna add the reserved quarter cup of ham juice mm -hmm. into the glaze that we left in the pot. It's just gonna ham it up a little. <laughs> nice. Thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna reheat it and whisk it. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna just turn it down low while we get the ham onto the board and get to carving. And again, because it's the shank end ham, it's a lot easier to carve because there's really just that one central bone going through the whole thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a good few slices. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. This is like a food stylist dream, right? <laughs> it's already shingled. I don't have to do any extra beautifying. This is my dream right here. A whole platter of freshly, perfectly cooked ham and yeah. a big thing of sauce. No sides needed. <laughs> no. Nope, nope. All right, I'm gonna serve up some. Mm -hmm. How's that? <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. May I put a little sauce on yours? Please. Now I'm gonna start slow, you tell me when. Perfect, thank oh, you. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Those look amazing. They do. So juicy. I mean, they don't need the caramel, but it's, Oh. I mean, the best. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is perfectly done. You've got the sweet from the caramel. You've got that vinegar punch. I love it. Yeah, a little smokiness from the ham. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I wonder why we just reserve this for the holidays. I mean, this should be like a regular occurrence. Yeah. Nicely done, Al. Thank you. Thank you. So if you want to make the ultimate holiday ham, use an oven bag. Reheat the ham in a 250 degree oven. Make a simple caramel glaze and finish the glazed ham in a hot oven from America's Test Kitchen, a perfect spiral sliced ham. And I mean perfect. Perfect. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.